Eric Karkiski here, and today we're going to do a 10 minute glute and abs workout. You're going to need a yoga mat and some wedgies. The wedgies are optional, but they will enhance your workout. We're gonna be going for 45 seconds on, followed by a 15 second break. Up first, we have single leg glute bridges. You'll see the exercise in the top hand corner. There's only a 15 second break, so pay attention, take a deep breath, and let's get this party started in three, two, left leg first, and one. Here we go. So I'm driving up that glute, squeezing the glute at the top, lowering down, but I'm not letting the butt touch. So exhale, inhale down, drive it right back up. If you need to, give it a little love tap, making sure that glute's working. 45 seconds here of pulses. You can have your arms at the side, and the more advanced version is just reaching the left arm as you're going. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. <sighs> I just woke up, so I'm doing this first thing in the morning. Maybe you are too, or maybe it's the end of the day. <sighs> Thank you for showing up. <sighs> Keep working, we're getting the glute and the hamstring, <sighs> and lower down, 15 second break. Other side here, if you don't have the wedges, that's perfectly fine, just have the foot on the ground. Here we go, team. And begin, right back up, driving through the foot. Exhale on the way up. We have five glute exercises in a row here to start, and then five ab exercises to finish. If you're feeling the glute and the hamstring, that's good. We don't wanna be feeling the lower back. That's a no-no. If you feel that lower back, what we want you to do is think about tucking your hips more as you come up. Don't think arch. We don't want the kangaroo pooch here. Keep working, team. And break, awesome. Next up here. 15 second breather, put the wedges to the side. We got side plank hip lifts now. And yes, this is a glute exercise. We're working the bottom glute here, the bottom side glute, and begin. Tap, back up, tap, right back up. You can reach this arm in front of you here as well. That's gonna kind of engage the core a little bit more. If you wanna make it more challenging, don't sit down, just go right back up. Don't let the hips touch, pull it right, right back up. Sometimes first in the morning, first thing in the morning, the words get a little twisted. 10 seconds left. Keep working team. Three, two, and one, awesome. Flip it over. So there we're getting the side glute and the side abs. Great exercise. Other side in five, four, three, two, let's go. Pull it up. That noise you're hearing, that's my watch. That's how I know. You gotta stay on track so I don't miss any beats. Keep pushing here. Good work, good work. We're halfway. Drive through that elbow. Pull it up tall. You got a puppy crawling underneath you. Open up the bridge for them. If you don't like puppies, maybe it's some cats. Or a row of ducklings. Keep working, five seconds. Three, two, last one. Get it out, there we go. Nice, all right, wander back here. Take your wedges. Face them towards you like so. If you don't have wedges, perfectly fine. You're just gonna put your heels down like this, and we got heel bridges now. So I'm here, and then I'm doing my bridges like so. Don't let the butt touch, just lower back. Advance, reach the arms to the sky. By digging through our heels, we're gonna be getting the hamstrings a little bit more than the glutes, but you're also still gonna be getting the glutes. This is a great exercise to really help prevent future lower back pain. 
Keep digging, we're halfway. Good work. Whew. Hamstrings are on fire. How we feeling? Almost there, keep pushing. Almost at the finish line here, and good. All right. Wedges get moved to the side here. The legs are toasted, they're done. Tuck ups now. Arms overhead, three, two, bring it in. Exhale. All right. We have started the ab exercises. Five exercises in a row. Core and abs and hips. Are you ready for it? Exhale on the way up. Reach overhead, roll it up. Back down. Arms go first, then the knees into the chest. This is one of my favorite ab exercises. 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, bonus rep. Woo, flip it over. Mountain climbers. You'll be flipping over a lot so that our abs don't get too torched. Five seconds here. Three, two, and let's go. So here, across, knee to opposite elbow. Exhale every time. I don't want you here. Push the ground away. Pushing that ground away the whole exercise. Also too, no lower back arching. Roll those hips under. So the shoulders and hips are in one straight line. This can be a workout done on the recovery day or at the end of the workout. That's why it's only 10 minutes. Get you in, get you out. Three, two, and one. All right, dead bugs now. All right. Oof. Who felt those abs on the way lowering down? Ah, sometimes 15 seconds feels good just to relax. Let's hop back in. Here we go, reach the arms. Exhale. Now it comes to the breathing. Think about like fogging a window. That's going to turn on your deep ab muscles more. Like your obliques and the transverse abdominis, also known as the TVA. Back and forth here for feeling the lower back. Make sure to just reach your leg out and don't go so low. So keep it there, come back in. Keep it here, pull it back. Don't go all the way down here, all right? You might even feel more abs when you're here. Let's push team, almost there. Keep working, last rep, pull it back in. All right, plank shoulder taps now. So we're here. Just take a little breather. You can see in the top hand corner what I'm doing. The most important thing when you're doing this, I'm gonna face you. Let's get started. Is staying square the whole time. So keep those hands in tight. You get the legs a little bit further out. That'll make it easier. We don't wanna be swaying like so in our hips, right? So keep those hips nice and square, reach long, and then tap. We only have two exercises left. Push that ground away. Abs are on fire. 15 seconds left, let's keep working. Great work so far, you're nine minutes in. Time flies when you're having fun. Three, two, last one. Ooh. All right, the finale. Save the best for last. Bicycle crunches. Woo. Whose abs are on fire right now? Oh, mine are. Three, two, here we go. Exhale. What a way to start the day or to finish the day. Back and forth. Ooh. Push through, push through. Last move. I know it's burning. 20 seconds left, let's go. 
I'm almost there. Come on, you got this. Last 10 seconds. Back and forth. Come on, push through. Almost there. A couple more reps. Four, three, two, one. Oh. All right. Oof. Huh, that was a tough one. Nice work, team. So let's cool it down real quick. Let's stretch out those abs. A little upward dog. So real simple. Just kind of hanging out here. If this is too much of a stretch, you can always go down a little bit lower. You can even go here, lifting the chest up like that. Make it work for you. I'm gonna be here, stretching those abs out real quick. Breathing into it. Awesome work today. That was not easy. I know that was a tough one. And if you start to feel some discomfort in your back because your position just doesn't agree with you, you can always just sit back into child's pose for the last couple seconds here. Exhale. Fantastic job today. Thank you so much for joining me in today's workout. If you find the video useful, if you enjoyed it, please share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to learn more exercising tips on how to train against gravity. Thank you so much for letting me give you a wedgie.